Hey guys, in this video I'm going to share with you some of my mobile application that has helped me save thousands of pounds as a student in the United Kingdom and this app has also helped me to improve my productivity as a professional in the United Kingdom. So if you're a student, if you're a professional and you're looking for how to improve your productivity, how to ace your exams and perform excellently in your academics or how to, you know, uh, place your professional level to the next level, then you want to watch this video to the end. So if you're coming across my channel for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. My channel subscribers, thank you guys for being here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I recently started working as a data analyst in an organization whereby in the whole of my department, I happen to be the only black person. And one of the ways um, I've been able to, one of the ways I've discovered to, you know, stay afloat and be able to stay relevant in the organization is being able to obviously carry out my job really effectively and also being able to communicate effectively intellectual conversations with my colleague. And one of the apps that's helped me to achieve this is called Short Forms. Now with Short Forms, Short Forms is an app that you get to read books by different authors and you're not just reading the old book, it's summarized. So if you have probably a book written by an author with over 150 pages on short forms, you get to read a summary of that book. So you don't get to spend days or weeks reading a book of over 100 pages. Now, if you go on App Store and you um, type short form, you're able to download this application on your mobile device. And when you start your registration, you obviously need to log in with your um, email account and when you do that you get access to choose the different um, you know field of life you are looking at reading different books across and as you can see on the screen you can get books on art and design um, biography business and career success communication entrepreneurship law history health lifestyle management and leadership media money and finance motivation psychology parenting politics, productivity, science, self-improvement, sales, and you know, many others. Now, the ones you see in yellow are the ones I selected when I was opening this particular app. So you get to choose the particular, you know, uh, you know, area of life you would like to read summary of books written by different authors. This will help you definitely be able to communicate effectively with your um, your colleagues at work and with this you're able to you know have understanding a little bit of understanding of different things across different um, sector of life or ways or um, you know part of life now the next hour i'll be sharing with you is youtube yeah youtube is one of my productivity apps to be honest with you guys and aside from the fact that i'm a content creator i post my videos just as you're watching this video on youtube i also get to learn a lot on YouTube also, like YouTube is practically my university. I can remember when I was trying to transition into data analytics, uh, about 60 to 70% of the tools and you know the resources I used um, towards my learning curve were cutting from YouTube. I had to watch different um, YouTubers um, like Alex the Analyst, uh, Free Code, and many other YouTube channels to be able to learn the adequate skills required for me to become a data analyst. To be honest with you guys, when I was going for my interview, many of the things I learned, many of the videos I watched on how to answer interview questions, what kind of interview questions being asked for this particular role, I got almost 80 to 90% of those information on YouTube. So YouTube is actually a place you definitely need to spend a lot of time, you know, on, you get to learn different things by different people who have got the experience. There's practically nothing you're trying to get on YouTube um, that is not on YouTube, actually. If you agree with me, please share in the comment section some of the things you learned on YouTube that's really shaped your life um, as at this moment. There are quite a lot of resources on YouTube, like massive, enormous, inexhaustible <laughs> resources on YouTube that you can learn. So even for me as content creator, sharing value, sharing information with you and with every other people you know, watching my videos, I also get schooled on many channels here on YouTube. So YouTube happens to be one of my productivity app. And also the next app I'll be sharing with you is called Google Calendar. Now the truth is being able to keep track of the things you do is one of the most important thing as an individual, either as a professional 
or as a student. You need to be able to keep track of your, you know, of your meetings, keep track of your task and many other things. I can remember um, a couple of days ago, I had a meeting with a particular brand I was supposed to influence for and so we're trying to you know um, have conversations around some things now because of the volume of work i had i practically forgot i had a meeting only for me to get a reminder from you know uh, from my google calendar telling me oh daniel you've got a meeting in the next 15 minutes and that was what saved me from you know disappointing my potential clients at that particular moment so google calendar is something that you should definitely have for my professional life, while I was studying as a student, even for my personal life, I make sure I keep track. I've got quite a number of appointments, um, you know, booked for the next couple of months. I had to keep track of those things using the Google Calendar. So if you also use Google Calendar, please take it in the comment section and share your experience um, with um, others. And also, the next app I'll be sharing on this, um, in, in this video is LinkedIn. Honestly, LinkedIn is one of my go-to productivity app. Now, with LinkedIn, you're able to not just get jobs, you're able to connect with people and share ideas. A couple of days ago, I had um, an intensive conversation with an individual. I had not met in person. We met on LinkedIn, but we both share a common passion, which is passion for numbers and data. So we had a full conversation. The conversation was for over 80 minutes or thereabouts, like it was an intensive, you know, conversations whereby we share our thoughts, share our ideas on, you know, our job role as data analyst, resident in the United Kingdom. And it was really an intensive conversation. And I was able to have this opportunity because I spent a lot of time on LinkedIn. So if you haven't followed me on LinkedIn, I decided to become very, you know, serious with LinkedIn a couple of weeks ago, about six weeks ago. And I've been able to build my followership from 50 followers to about 6,000 followers. So if you want to follow me on, on LinkedIn, please go to the description of the video or go on LinkedIn and search Daniel J. Suloba. Then you can follow me on LinkedIn if you want to learn about life, about, you know, transitioning to data analytics. Another app that helped me stay productive and save me thousands of pounds is the use of Grammarly and PDF elements. Now, these two apps has really helped me to be able to, you know, while I was studying for my master's in business administration, I was able to use those particular tools to help improve my writing skills. And I was able to graduate with a distinction by using the um, resources available on Grammarly and also on PDF elements. So with this app, you're able to, you know, make sure you push your writing to the next level and, you know, have a better, you know, um, grade on many of the assessments being given for students um, in and outside Europe. So these are some of the apps I personally use to improve my productivity um, at work. Every of these apps are definitely relevant. You know, uh, um, getting resources on YouTube has saved me thousands of pounds I could have spent on getting some courses, like some courses are very, very expensive. So many of these productivity apps, if you use any of them, please state in the comment section. And if you have other productivity app you use professionally or as a student that has really helped you, please share in the comment section. This will definitely help someone, um, you know, improve their productivity as a professional or as a student. So if you find this video useful, also please click on the like button. If you have any question, please state in the comment section. And if you're coming across my channel for the first time, please click on the right red subscribe button. And if you'd love to see videos or content like this on my channel, please also state in the comment section. So this will be the end of this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.